blockchain allowed for a distributed kind of database and it's still not there yet it's still not what we need we've yeah. got more work to but it's, it's a it's, huge it's, piece it's, yeah, it's, puzzle it's, piece. It's, it's, it's a huge piece and cool. so now because of that what we can do and then of course uh, Vitalik came along and, and put the virtual machine kind of distributed computing smart power. contracts I hear about that, that yeah but it's the Ethereum virtual machine oh. um, there's many of these and there's more to come this is really at the beginning we're looking at like you know when they had the Ford Model T with like it's not a Formula One car that we have today or or the wonderful you know Tesla yeah. but it's a car and it'll run and it's combustion car. yeah but it, again it won't solve the problem you wouldn't be able to run the world with Ford Model yeah, T yeah, yeah, it would no. you know, fall apart but, um, so but this stuff's new. We've, we've literally yeah. got a chance here to build systems like this that you're talking about, the electrical system, which we, we haven't been able to build this before. Yeah. That's amazing. So yeah. we live in quite an exciting time. Really. We're living at the, at the era, at the beginning of the era of, of digital trust. This is, this, is, this is amazing. Digital trust is, is everything. It's mathematics rather than people. You don't, you, you can, like we talk about this in that other thing. But you can trust, you know, I can have a relationship with you. I mean, obviously I can with you, you're my brother, but yeah. I can have a relationship with friends and I can, ex because I've got enough uh, information on them, because I know them, I can, you know, can make my choice with, as whether to trust them or not. And I would advise that people learn to trust, yeah. you know, but it, sometimes it lets you down, but you, you've got a way to do that. The second it goes beyond your immediate friends or a little bit further than that, you just can't be sure anyone's telling the truth and you can't be sure what their agenda is, you don't know the people on TV, you know, you've got this whole situation where um, trust breaks down at large scale and that's what we live in right now. So this era of digital trust allows technologies to step in at that point and we can create situations where I can work with somebody but not have to know everything about them because I've got, you know, like we do now, yeah. you can see someone's reputation, but then it's preserving their privacy while it does that. You can see what history they've had, what actions they've done, but we now know that those actions had to be verified to be there. They're not just, you know, somebody could have had a website and they've deleted all the bad reviews and just left the good ones. No, we can now be sure that the, the history is accurate. That's actually, somebody said it, it's one of the, it's the first way of, we've ever had as a species of document, documenting things that have happened in time. Yes. Like we never had a way because before we put it in a database or we'd write a book and you never know if that book was real, you never know if that database has been modified, you can't tell when something really happened and if it really happened. Now with the blockchain because it's spread out because of the way it works, we can describe that in another video. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you actually can be sure that something has happened in time. And that's not a little thing. That's trust. That's real trust. And it's, how, it's guaranteed through mathematics. How does that help, though, with this? Like, for instance, the mesh. Because every time I hear about the blockchain, it's about, like, cryptos. And it's about, like, you know, Bitcoin or some sort of cryptocurrency. How is it that these things are of... So this, this blockchain, which we hear about, but always with cryptos, this is also enabling all these other ideas, like the decentralized uh, electricity grid and stuff. It's somehow also it's going to enable many things other than just rather than just cryptocurrencies. When we talk about the electrical grid, uh, the first problem we have is the, the money. Um, tiny, 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 tiny microscopic transactions going backwards and forwards is the real way to do this. So you're measuring at a very high resolution. Now, at the beginning, it might start in hourly blocks or, you know, to, to reduce the load on these uh, original networks. But I mean hourly blocks of electricity. Oh, sorry, yeah. Um, so how do you meter it? How you measure what's going in and out yeah. has to be done and, and it can cause a strain on a, these blockchains while they're immature. Um, then you've got a problem of the blockchains themselves being quite centralized at this point. You have this one chain for the whole planet. That's ridiculous. Has to, and there's solutions growing for that. But essentially, if we had to use regular money right now, it would cause all sorts of problems. We wouldn't be allowed to do it. There'd be uh, restrictions on how we can use it. There's no way it's possible. Um, Plus, you want you might be able to into the actual currency for you know have a currency for electricity. Actually, wire in things that are directly linked to the electricity. It's a little bit difficult to explain, but there are other parts of this that we want to know for sure that certain things have happened, and the only way to do it is through digital currencies. So. It, okay, that goes over my head a bit. I get, I get a bit lost when you yeah. say that. I get lost. Let's, I sort of have like the inkling of like what you might be meaning there. Yeah. But, which yeah. I think, you know, but I get I, sort of lost at, at the scale of how you guys are looking at this. Because obviously yeah. you can see the bigger picture of what's technologically possible, which at the moment, yeah. you know, it's hard for me to, to be see. honest with you. That's my mistake because I want to get into like a huge discussion yeah, yeah, okay. about that part. But 
probably better to do a white paper on that or write or do yeah. a separate talk with but it's interesting don't get me wrong yeah. I think everyone's really interested in this it's just this it's such a beautiful overall picture that we think and the fact that it's possible now and I, I didn't realize you know what a big missing piece to a puzzle um, uh, the blockchain was and how there are people who have been looking at this creating decentralized things for a great many years yeah. and then when it sort of came about you know and Satoshi whoever he is sort of came and they saw the white paper of the blockchain they sort of went oh my god yeah, this was like an oh, amazing yeah. moment for a whole community of developers yeah. who then started turning their mind to uh, electricity grids and uh, as you were saying like insurance or I don't know taxi steps or whatever anything I think that's that's uh, unbelievable. Yeah, I didn't it, was, realize it, was, it was so big. It was massive. It was like a big blinding light in our in a lot of people's world. I mean, like it set off a whole chain reaction of people who are hodling right now. Yes. Uh, and you know, you've got that original group of people, and they may some of them not even programmers, just just people who understood what it meant. Um, others mathematicians, other just uh, people from all walks of life. It wasn't sp specifically any one group of people. And they saw what it meant, and that was it. And boom, just light, light for the first time. And that, that's why we got so excited. That's why in that video, I'm trying to point out how big a deal this is, because it is something real. It's not, you don't trust me, you don't trust anyone else, you trust a community. And it's, it's a wonderful change. Again, the blockchain allows us to, to create databases for these marketplaces, to create um, all the contracts that will need to be you know, going between the computers and yeah. it does that all, it's so perfect because it's automated. You have anyone involved in that, so it can happen like millions of times a second wow. in, in computers' minds. And it, since it all starts from the individual, the house, you know, it, it, it's scalable infinitely because, you know, as long as your computer can communicate with and get what it needs done, it doesn't care what's happening in Timbuktu or, you know, Germany or Afghanistan or America or, or Japan. It, it, it's just, you, everything's local. So you have this incredible power and it can scale to planet size, you know, levels and it works just well. It doesn't matter what's happening over there as long as you've got your own world and it works in its own way. And you can program in layers to, to deal with the maintenance of that network. Yeah. You can program in layers and funding what from, from all the participants yeah. that they can sort of agree to automatically set a certain amount to go to so maintenance to, to maybe keep the developers in, you know, Tink, as, biscuits and yeah, you know. as many as many ways as there are ideas.